is now 829. Human remains were found inside of a garbage bag near a home in Sunnyvale. KTVU's Craig Devereaux is live out there with the unusual steps the police took to gather evidence and when the neighbors say this body was dumped. Craig? Yeah, good morning, Dad. I want to show you very quickly. This is where the body was found yesterday morning, and the neighbors are now saying they believe they know what time the body was dumped there based on who was out at what time. Uh, and, for instance, the body was called in at 10 a.m., and then uh, what we're hearing that the people were out before then. But when the police got here, in order to search for the body, what they for evidence, what they did is they lined up six across, and they simply walked down the street in both directions to see if they could find any clues. So the neighbor now is concluding the body must have been left here in the morning. Yesterday morning, Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety got a call from a resident. A resident told police there was something in a garbage bag in the yard and that it looked like a body. Police came out, opened the bag, and made the discovery. The resident here says the neighbor who called police had been out early in the morning and didn't notice the bag until a second stroll around 10 a.m. Uh, I walked by here about uh, 8 o'clock. Yesterday? Yes. You walk up the street? Right down here. See anything? I didn't see a thing. <laughs> no. I'm shocked. Police say an autopsy is going to be, have to be done today to determine the cause of death and the identity of the body. Police say they believe the person is an adult based on the weight. A neighbor told us she couldn't believe one of her neighbors had called the police because of a garbage bag in the yard. She said she couldn't believe that the body was inside the bag because it was a typical kitchen bag and not an extra large type of garbage bag. Police are going to be doing that. Uh, police and coroner is going to be doing the autopsy again today, help determine the cause. And they're also going to be checking with other police departments in the nearby areas to see if there are any missing persons report that could match up with the body when it is identified. Reporting live in Sunnyvale, Craig Debro, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, Craig, and you can get more information on this case.